Diane Janvey Dugan has already made hundreds of masks. She's distributed some here in Saskatoon, and during a recent trip to La Loche, where she's from, she distributed 50 more. But she didn't have enough for everyone who wanted one. For the liner? Now she's doing her part to support La Loche through the pandemic, as she's set to release a video instructing people how to make their own masks. But instead of doing it in English, she's relaying the instructions in the dialect of the community, Dene. If my mom wanted to make a mask, my mom does not speak English. I have to be able to explain it all in Dene to her. And my mom is not the only one in that situation up there. There are a lot of people up there. I mean, there are a lot of people who know how to speak English, of course, but it's just so much better when it's done in Dene and people can understand here in their own language how to make something. And that way I can reach more people. Instead of just some, I can reach everybody. Dugan is now calling on sores across Saskatchewan to step up and make their own mask for Lalash. The town's mayor says the support shows how Lalash is a resilient community where people are ready to help. He says it's important for people to get COVID guidance in their own language. Well, it's empowering, right? You're allowing people to be able to do something that they can do at home for themselves. So it's empowering, and that's what we need. We need people to instruct, and if it's in our language, that helps. Dugan isn't alone in her quest to translate important COVID information into Diné. Others have translated public service announcements into the traditional tongue. She knows the masks won't help address all the pandemic problems, but she just wanted to do her part to keep her community safe. Morgan Majeski, CBC News, Saskatoon.